We are back with more Project Rampage. In some sense of the word, yeah. Like I said, I like my anime. What kind of anime, you might ask? Well, believe it or not, I happen to have a thing for super robots. Why? My first toy happened to be happened to be um, Voltron. Quite funny, yeah. I remember one of our neighbors one of our neighbors pound it. <laughs> one of our neighbors happened to have happened to buy me like a of of you know the Voltron um the Voltron figure and when I was young you know I was I I had a destructive streak Ooh, me with a destructive streak yeah yeah I, I you know I was a kid you know go figure And why did I fall on my ass like that? Anyway. It's not that, you know, I didn't... Uh, you know, I was a kid. I was just being, you know, what kids normally do. But really, I I really loved Voltron. I, I really loved Voltron. And when... And not to mention the fact that when I saw... Go Lion and bought Go Lion. That just made me love the series as a whole even more. Because really, you know, it was just, you know, Voltron. It's a classic. But not only that, but, you know, my love for anime grew right after I came back from, right, right when I came back from Japan. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. It came back, it, you know, it suddenly came back from Japan. So with that, I'm going to pause here for a hot second. And I'll be right back. And once again, I am back with more of this madness that you can shake a stick at. So with that, I am I am sharing my love of anime to the world. Because believe it or not, yeah, I used to, I used to do a lot of anime. Well, I didn't used to do a lot of anime. But what I did was, uh, I did quite a, well, I was quite a bit of a fanboy myself. I am still a fanboy to this day, but most likely it was to games like, uh, oh, well, not games, um, mainly Super Robot shows. Mainly like Get a Robo, that sort of thing. Yeah. It was, it was like that. And for the, and for the, and for the time that it, it was going on, yeah, I loved, I, you know, I completely fell in love with Super Robots. So with that, you know, so with that, I was just like, well, you know, you know, you got Get a Robo, you got Transformers, you have Mazinger Z, Lasner. I mean, the, the, the choices of it all, you know, it was just so awesome because, you know, like I said, you know, it was, you know, a super robot show. I think the one that kind of got me, though, I never forget the um, the only show that I actually managed to watch when it was on demand was uh, Don Kuganova. Now, Don Kuganova just happened to be, I think, a sequel to the original. 
super super beast machine god Dan Kuga, aka God bless Dan Kuga. God bless Dan Kuga. But you know, I, I I digress. You know, I really digress. I'm thinking to myself, wow, this is awesome. I'm you know, I'm watching a super robot show and wow, I'm just you know just to say, you know, I I've I'm actually watching something which I haven't seen before. I think the second show I've ever watched was um Gravion. Gravion and then um I forgot what that other show is. It was um I know what it was. So I, 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 it, it's on the top of my, it's on the tippy tip of my tongue. I can't even think of it. So what I'm thinking about is, um, I know, it was um, marriage of God and soul. Damn it! And it, it's right on the tip of my, t it's right on the tip of my tongue too, and I can't even think of it. <sighs> And if somebody would please post a comment about that one show that I'm thinking about, I'd be ever so grateful. Had a lot of eye candy, if you know what I'm saying. But you know, I digress. I mean, I love eye candy. Nothing wrong with a little eye candy, you know. You know, bouncy boobs just springing about, you know. But anyway, what I'm doing is, right now... Clearing this mess, giving buildings a whole new one in my search for a bigger appetite. So that's what I'm doing right now. Believe it or not. Aside from that, most of my life, I'm just telling it to you right here. And a whole lot of things are just coming on right before my eyes. I got the alarm clock here my my watch going off and it is one of those days it is project rampage and i do mean project rampage my life being told through the destruction of rampage and i am sorry but this is madness and with everything just going as Asinine nuts. I mean, things have gone nuts already, but I mean, really. I don't know where to put it all. I don't know where to put my energies. Oh, yeah, I know where I'm putting all my energies. And did I tell you I haven't sleep? I'll tell you why. With everything that is going on, I don't think I can sleep. Not until I've taken care of Project Rampage, gave it a new one. And quit before it goes back to day one. Well, it did me a favor. So, where are we now? We're still in New York. Surprisingly, we're still in New York. But you know, this is weird. I'm just breaking stuff, just be breaking stuff now. But anyway, about what I mentioned about first time before, I was just, you know, saying, you know, maybe I should do something else. But then again, I don't know. I'm just thinking to myself out loud. But then again, it's a let's play and most people just want to hear my voice. Or maybe they don't want to hear my voice, which is up to you. I don't really care. But you know what? Really, when it comes to things, when it comes to life in general, I usually like to take things in stride. I like to enjoy myself. And speaking of enjoying myself, I will basically be the badass and keep on with my destruction on the free or what is now to be the broken United States of America. 
So what am I going to do? I'm halfway through the game right now. I'm tearing up this game. I'm thinking I'm three-fourths away. So therefore, I'm going to take a short break, and I'll, re and I'll be right back after this. <laughs> 